If you have any questions, please type them into the chat function along with a contact email and we'll be sure to get back to you following the presentation. Also in the chat function, you'll see handouts um, of this presentation in English and Welsh. So to start, who are we and who do we work with? Currently, um, we're an all female qualified youth work team of five. We work with young people 16 to 25 who are no longer in compulsory education and are seeking support to get into employment, education such as college and university or training. And we got good links with key training providers across Cardiff and also adult learning. Um, so we've got access to a range of courses, training qualifications um, that you can access. So part of the role of the youth mentor is to remove pressures to help young people to move forward. We understand there are many pressures in life from not being engaged in education, employment and training, physical and mental health issues, family breakdown and even to housing problems. A youth mentor works one to one to put action plans into place. By listening to the young person, we're able to work together and support each young person to make their own decisions and find solutions to remove barriers that stop people from moving forward. The action plan identifies areas you would like to make changes to. It allows you to work on specific actions which are reviewed to ensure you are working towards your end goal. This is also led by the young person to ensure that it's authentic and that you feel like you're being listened to. Next please. Next page. So we want the young people to see the benefits of working with a youth mentor. So in this slide, we have an example of a youth mentor versus a life coach. As a youth mentor, we can support you with many issues so you can achieve certain goals. If you compare this to the life coaches that many celebs now have, you can see the cost and the time investment they put in can be extremely expensive. The advantages of a youth mentor well, it can be that we're available to help you move forward with no cost to you. All you have to put in is your time and commitment to get your actions into place. Having a mentor is a positive step. It will only benefit you. Each mentor has a range of skills, knowledge and relationships that will help you with your journey. You can use the skills and expertise of a youth mentor to answer questions and find solutions to issues you may have. So what stands us apart from other services, adults, organisations that work with young people? Basically, we're a team of qualified youth workers who has, hold a really strong value base, which influences how we work with you. We place young people at the heart of what we do. We're really concerned with the quality of relationships that we form with you and that these relationships are based on voluntary engagements. They're not forced, they're not mandatory. It's your choice to engage with us as a service. We're really concerned about your needs and your issues, and we look to seek to support you in addressing and hoping to overcome some of these on your journey of self-improvement um, with us. So our service, what is it in a nutshell? Basically, if you get referred onto our programme or you um, put in a self-referral, we'll link you to an experienced and knowledgeable youth mentor. This mentor will offer you one-to-one -one personalised tailored support. And that support might be provided within your local community, might include home visits, obviously not during this time, during the coronavirus, but um, we can provide one-to-one -one meetings in approved buildings and hubs. We can signpost you to relevant agencies and services that will support you on your personal journey um, that you've set out to achieve. We've got um, links to external courses, but also provide internal courses that we run based on the needs presented by young people. We've developed a bespoke project based on needs. An example would be the Baby Roots project, working with young mums who wanted access to training and courses whilst providing some childcare to enable them to do this. We can provide group sessions that are responsive to your needs. Again, as previous mentioned, we can give you training opportunities. 
We've also got links to the wider youth service of which we're a part and also links to work based learning opportunities and developing soft skills in readiness for education, employment or training. This is an exhaustive, but it gives you an idea of the services that we can provide to you as a young person. We understand it's not easy to move forward and achieve goals, so sometimes there can be barriers stopping us from getting where we want to be. The slide shows a list of barriers that young people we work with come across on a regular basis. A youth mentor can help overcome barriers by identifying support and information. We can also work closely with other agencies and partners, and we offer training opportunities and specific courses for young people we work with. We also offer one-to-one -one and group sessions and the support we offer will be catered to the individual's need. As a mentor, we want to hear your thoughts and opinions and this is your journey and we are here to guide you through it. So importantly, what does success look, for, look like? It looks different for different people. You set your own goals, your own journey and the success is a personal to you. It's not one shoe fits all, one cap fits all, it's personalised to you. So the benchmarks are very different from person to person. The hard successes which you can see here on the screen, getting into employment, education, training, volunteering and work based training are important to us, but they're not the only things that demonstrate success. To us, to, to us we're really concerned about the soft, um, soft outcomes as well. Soft outcomes such as being happier, improved well-being we um, carry out star assessments which map you know how you've developed in terms of your personal well-being your confidence whether you've um, gained skills and your abilities and for us it's a balance between the two the soft outcomes and the hard outcomes they're both important to us so this is a real life case study of a young person we have supported from beginning to an e to end. It gives you an example of the type of work that youth mentors do. Thank you. So how did you get referred to a youth mentor? Whilst going through family mediation, um, they referred me on to the youth mentor team. When you were first linked to a mentor, what did you think? How did you feel about it? Um, I believe that it was just going to be another person to deal with and to sign me up to a load of things that I didn't really want to do. Um, I thought that it could maybe be another letdown and that it was just going to be a waste of time. And when you were referred to a youth mentor, what were your main barriers at the time? Um, I was currently at the time going through a family breakdown, which led to being housed into a hostel. Um, so again, my housing was another issue I was facing. Um, I was also struggling with my finances and being unemployed um, and struggling on the bare minimum of universal credit. Um, I was also in a pretty negative relationship at the time. Can you just tell me how the youth mentor helped you to overcome some of your barriers? Um, so. It started with obviously building a positive relationship as we as my issue is with trust and being able to trust a certain individual. So when we built that positive relationship, then they they come with me to a lot of meetings in regards to my housing um, and supported me along those lines. Um, they helped with my finances and They also helped me sign up to Cardiff and Vale College starting in September, uh, doing the Access to Nursing course, as I want to give something back to what I have received. I 
It helps increase my confidence massively by taking on new challenges such as um, learning to fly, applying to college, um, obviously with the ambition of becoming a nurse, um, and just keeping me involved in all decision making and then also being involved with the decision making and being open and honest with their opinions as well. So what would you say to another young person who is thinking about working with a youth mentor? I would tell them to give it a go and to stick at it. Um, as a relationship with the youth mentor is different to any other professionals as they do treat you how you would like to be treated. Um, I can honestly say that things have turned a corner this year and I could not be prouder of myself. So that was a great example of someone's success on a journey with a post-16 youth mentor. If this is something that you feel you could benefit from, please take a look at our contact details, which are on the screen, and take a note and get in touch, and we'll be happy to see whether we can support you. So we will look at any questions and get back to you at a later date. And thank you for listening and taking part.